It's so great to see ASUS now pushing out regular updates to the incredible ROG Ally. And literally just a few hours ago, ASUS have just released their brand new BIOS 323 update today on July 21st for the handheld. There are four distinct upgrades in this update, two of which we can't compare to BIOS 322 and two that we absolutely can right now, including a crucial important upgrade. So let's dive straight into it and start with the two updates that we can't immediately test against BIOS 322. The first is optimized performance in performance mode when the Ally is plugged in. With this being so generic and non-specific, it won't be until many of us discover exactly what these general improvements are over these next few days. So when you do come across these, then let us know in the comments below. The second upgrade we can't immediately test is another user experience upgrade in that on future BIOS updates, the memory assigned to GPU setting won't be reset to default and will now keep its previous value. This is a nice little tweak as when we go into the Army Crate app, then settings, then operating mode, and finally GPU settings, it means that it won't keep reverting back to the standard 4 GB and will stay at whatever our preferred memory settings are. We will now test these final two updates against BIOS 322 and the third user experience upgrade is that ASUS have modified the minimum panel backlight value from 25 nits to just 10 nits to improve usability in dark environments. So let's test this first on BIOS 322 and we'll drop the brightness right down to zero which will be 25 nits and this is with the light on and this is with the room lights off. And let's play the brilliant and very vibrant Spyro Reignited still on BIOS 322 and at that 25 nits first with the light on. And now with the light off. Let's now head into the My Asus app and update the BIOS to the brand new 323 version. Up to six weeks later. All right, so the BIOS update has just finished and you can see here that we are now on today's BIOS release of 323. So now let's drop the brightness down, which will now be just 10 nits. And this is with the lights on. And this is with the room lights off. So let's now head back into Spyro Reignited at the lower 10 nits of brightness on BIOS 323. First with the light on. And finally, with the room lights off. Wow, this is a great upgrade for those of you who prefer playing in those low light settings, perhaps in bed with the lights off, and it'll definitely help reduce eye strain in those darker environments. Just before we look at the fourth and most important upgrade, if you've learned something from this video, then be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons as it massively helps the channel out and you don't want to miss any of the incredible content planned over these next few weeks and months. And finally, the fourth upgrade and arguably the most important update for many in BIOS 323 is that ASUS have now added 30 watt support when plugging in 65 watts or higher wattage PD adapters or type C hubs. So let's test this out and you can see that this is BIOS 322 and I'll now plug in a cheap and basic USB hub from Sabrent. And when I plug in the adapter that came with the Ally, then the software limits the operating mode to a max of 25 watts, making the most powerful top end 30 watts mode unavailable. Well, as you can see here, this is the Ally now on BIOS 323. So let's plug the USB hub back in, then the Ally's standard 65 watt power adapter, and all being well, 
the top end 30 watt mode should now be available. <sighs> Guys, am I doing something wrong? Maybe my cheap USB-C hub isn't capable of passing through the Ally 65 watt charger. Let us know in the comments what the possible problem could be. Ah! Well, it was going so well with the 10 nits of brightness upgrade being so great. And yes, please comment why you think my USB-C hub and 65 watt Ally charger is not unlocking that higher 30 watt turbo mode. As a little extra bonus for watching right to the end of the video though, I would love to share this awesome quote. You can't change how people treat you or what they say about you. All you can do is change how you react to it. There is a lot of negativity and toxicity around us. So let's try our best to be positive and to stay encouraged today, guys. And check this video out if you'd like to hear my review of the Allies' first four weeks on sale. I appreciate every single one of you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.